Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys to the very first Fire Emblem Three Houses character preview, the miniseries where we count down the days until the Fire Emblem Three Houses launch by taking a look at specific characters, going by the information we've gathered about them so far, checking out their stats, personal skills, and anything else we've uncovered up until this point. I'll also give my thought on what I think about them and what class they will be good at come Three Houses. Again, this is just a little miniseries to build hype for the game's eventual release, don't take it too seriously, and try to have fun. Starting on the first preview, we'll take a look at the one and only Edelgard. Edelgard von Resvelg is the future empress of the Adrestian Empire and leader of the Black Eagles. She has a dignified presence to her and the look of a person who coolly evaluates her surroundings before making a move. She possesses a minor crest of Ceros, though she apparently is not very proud of it, as she thinks the crests are to blame for the world's troubles. Edelgard was originally voiced by Christina V, but her role was later given to Tara Platt instead. The reasons for this change is still unknown at the time of making this video. Edelgard's design is apparently heavily inspired by Micaiah from Radiant Dawn, in both her appearance and personality. After the five-year time skip, Edelgard dons a much more majestic attire, with red armor, a horned crown, and wielding an axe that curiously has the markings of another crest onto it, similar to that of the character Marianne. Could Edelgard possess multiple crests? Only time will tell. We do not have access to character growth rates yet, but we do know that Edelgard is proficient in swords, axes, and authority, but weak at bows and faith magic. She is neither strong nor weak in reason magic, but despite that, she still has a hidden talent for it, meaning she'll unlock a special skill if you train her extensively in it. Edelgard's personal skill is Imperial Bloodline, which increases her experience gains by 20%. This skill is different in name, but otherwise completely similar to that of Claude and Dimitri. In terms of what class to pick, Edelgard has access to the unique Intermediate Lord class at level 10, which probably will be the best choice for her as it is limited to the three main characters and thus might have an edge over the others. But if you don't want to go down the generic routes, any sword or axe wielding class will be easy for her to master due to her proficiencies. Mercenary or Brigand are definitely classes to consider. Since she has a hidden talent in recent magic, you could also contemplate making her a mage. Now, I personally love Edelgard. I think she is by far one of the best designed characters in Tree Houses, if not Fire Emblem as a whole, and that is not a statement I make lightly. She is just so freaking gorgeous. How can you go wrong with blonde hair and blue eyes? I mean... H hello? Yes? What? What do you mean she's not blonde? She has purple eyes? Wait, can I still pick the blue lines? Thank you so much for watching this Fire Emblem Three Houses character preview. Who do you want to see covered next? Leave your answer in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Tree Houses content. My name is Vin Mengs and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.